Every day I sit out here because I do. Helps me with my sanity. But then my neighbor to the left, I think he's going through a state of depression because him and his wife fucking scream every day. And we have such big yards that you shouldn't be able to hear anybody. So this motherfucker has all these vehicles in his backyard. He has a huge backyard like mine. And we live in the city. We don't live in the county. And all those fucking vehicles should be tagged. That's the ordinance. But I'm not a bitch. I keep to my fucking self. But I'm so fucking tired of him starting this fucking diesel bus. That you have to sit there and inhale this nasty shit. He's a fucking hoarder. And I wish he'd fucking just sell his shit and fucking get a fucking life because I'm fucking over it. My backyard? Oh, I could have fucking 100 vehicles back there. That's how bad, big my backyard is. But I don't. They're in the front and on the side of the house. There's five vehicles here. And only two are driven. But I don't start them. And I don't let everybody inhale. I mean, when he starts it, he just puts that gas pedal all the way down and let the whole neighborhood fill with this diesel bullshit. You know what? I'm sorry you're depressed. I'm sorry you got a bitch wife. Saw so you got two screaming little girls that scream every day. Saw so you have five little ankle biter dogs that, that bark at everything. Shadows, the wind blowing, fallen leaves. God forbid if anybody walked down the fucking sidewalk walking their dog because these motherfuckers are let loose. And I tell the people, go ahead, kick them. Kick them. Because I already had, I was walking to my mailbox and Roscoe, a little fucking asshole, Wants to come up on me. I'm like, bitch, I'll fucking kill you. I don't care if I'm an animal lover. You know? For 10 years, over 10 years, 15 years at least now, Roscoe has taunted my dogs. And my female who passed away June of 2019, June 8th, climbed over the fence, grabbed Roscoe by his fucking neck and fucking shook him and, 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 and crawled back over. And so my neighbor's going to come over all freaked out. I'm like, fucking train your dogs. My dogs can't even go in the backyard without this motherfucker thinking he's going to tear through the fence. I'm like, bitch, you're, you're so little, you're all talk. Just like most little people, they're all talk, no action. Just aggravating, literally aggravating. And it's still running. doesn't have a job neither of them they buy and sell junk it's like it all happened after the second daughter was born he's probably saying god another one yeah I, I i feel you on that one anyways it's bullshit literally bullshit well, maybe he's mad because I had a landscaper come and cut down my my um, bulb pavilion that was probably 30 years old that had woodened itself through the fence and was on his side. It's my fucking plant. What's well, in my fucking yard? I can cut whatever I want. I was tired of it. I was tearing up the fi privacy privacy fence, and that that doesn't even include the the, the expensive one of a kind um, Chinese giant pan uh, fan palm that Irma killed and it was leaning over it wasn't it was still alive it was leaning over in his yard because Irma knocked it over and what does he do he takes a fucking chainsaw and cuts the head off of it and kills it well you know what the whole fucking tree is still now it's laying on the fucking fence it can stay fucking there I don't give a shit I was gonna hire a company to try to lift it back up to save it but no he wants to kill it so you know what now you got all that debris of that dead bon pavilion or whatever the fuck you call those stupid damn names in Florida plants. So yeah.